This question describes a story that I can relate to, right? Shawana is reading uh, 50 pages every day, but if she finished a book that day, she's not going to start the next book until the next day. So, so that's something that I can relate to. And uh, it looks like we're going to have to figure out, looking at this table full of numbers, how many times does 50 go into each of the numbers? And if there's a remainder, then we'll count that as kind of a, another day unto itself and then start the next book on the following day. So I guess another way to say that is take each number divided by 50 and round up to the nearest integer. And that gives us the number of days, the total number of days spent on that book. So we can't just add up all of the numbers from the table ahead of time. We do need to divide each of them separately by 50 because Shawana is not going to start another book on the same day that she finished the previous book. So what's our plan? Take each number, divide it by 50, round up to the nearest integer. And when we get to 28 days, we check how many books Shawana has finished reading at that point. So let's do that right after this. So what do we have here? On uh, day one, we would say 50 goes into 253 five times with some change. There's a remainder of three there. Uh, so that's a total of uh, six days for the first book. We would need another three days for the second book because 50 goes into 110 twice with a remainder of 10. So we'd need three days for that second book. Same goes for the third book. 50 goes into 117 twice with a remainder of 17. And if you just keep going through uh, each book and divide the number of pages that book has by 50 and then round up to the nearest integer, if it's not an integer, then um, you can just add all those numbers up and that should give you the answer. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.